Hi guys, uh, in today's video, we are going to see how we can rename our uh, TV series episodes using FileWord without subscription. So as you can see, uh, this is FileWord, which is uh, very well known for uh, like renaming your uh, episodes, TV series episodes, and then it, it can be scrapped on uh, uh, Kodi. So I have searched that uh, at Nerushi Puden, and uh, I want to like uh, renaming my episodes uh, till 10 episodes so if you can see uh, i have these 10 episodes so the task for uh, doing this is like i need to change it manually so i need to do that and then uh, i need to uh, remove this or rename this uh, manually and you can imagine uh, like uh, if i need to do it for 512 episodes and uh, that file board used to be free uh, like i think two to three years ago but it is not so if you go to here and uh, i will try to move my places and then uh, if i try to send this to the list uh, not list i think i need to do it on rename so it will uh, show like this and when you try to rename it it will ask for the subscriptions and subscription will gonna cost you around uh, i think uh seven dollar or ten dollar something and uh, if you wants to purchase it for the lifetime uh, it will gonna cost you around uh, 48 dollar so for scrapping i don't think it 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 is it should be that costly so uh, i find a way to use this uh, information and uh, make it work for us so like uh, we have there so if you have subscription we can just uh, click on rename it and it will going to rename it for us but because we don't have any subscription right now so what we need to do is first we need to copy this information oh uh, i think it is not copy copyable from here so let's go to the episodes and then do a copy and do and then we need to open a notepad and paste that uh, particular information so now uh, we are in the notepad so that's a notepad plus plus so now you can see uh, i have copied the whole thing so the idea is uh, we will find something uh, which can map our uh, these episode list to our physical files so as you can see uh, that's the same thing is done by fileboard but it is now charging us for that and making your own application is tough because uh, i try to uh, search it but tvdb api is very costly so i don't think uh, any developer can afford it for its personal use so uh, in order to do that uh, do the re renaming using a text file you need to use a bulk rename utility so that is the utility we have and uh, now what we need to do is we need to click on the episode uh, so when we click on it so i need to go from h drive and then so as you can see uh, this is the file physical files we have and these are the new files we have so we need to make an uh, like uh, make a bridge which can uh, load our data like uh, this so physical file should be here and new name should appear from this text file so in order to do that what we need to do is we need to do this like uh, we need to make file name like this so it will be our like old file uh, and then with the pipe and then the new file so and every line will, every line will going to be a new so uh, this data will going to be loaded inside this bulk rename utility and then we will have an option to rename it so in order to do that we need to like create a sample for that so for that we will be using uh, excel So in order to move that to the Excel, uh, what we can do is we can just copy. So 
so in order to copy that uh, we can just uh, select all these files and click on copy so what it will do is it will copy all the columns we have in this and now we need to go to the excel so we have excel so in this excel we can just paste this Oh, it's not working so let's just try it one more time so we can do this by right clicking copy and then uh, paste so i have pasted it uh, it turns out that uh, my keyboard was not working fine and uh, there is one more thing which we need to see like this copy is not working so all you need to do is go to the clipboard copy and then click all so shortcut is control c so control c will work definitely so my keyboard is not working with control c so that is why i'm not able to paste it so i need to now uh, delete all these things and double click on it so now uh, we have a actual file name which is the physical file name right now and uh, this contain our new file name so let's just paste this in another column maybe on c uh, not from here so it should be matching so file name is we have another row so we can just paste it from the second row so now we have two files now what we need to do is we need to make it like this uh, we need to concatenate it So in order to can concatenate the way uh, we want, we need to apply this formula on Excel. So I was trying to copy it from somewhere, but it was not working. So I guess you need to type it. So A2 will be our uh, this cell and AND will concatenate it. Don't use plus sign because it will not going to work in Excel. So AND will con concatenate it and then with a pipe. And then we have C2 this column and then again concatenate. And this is the AVI, which is the extension. So as you can see, all the files have AVI extension. So do mind that if you have a different extension, then you need to apply some logic to uh, like get this particular uh, extension thing from it and append it here. So because I have the same, so I'm not using that. So I will just uh, write it as it is. So when you click on, uh, like uh, if you enter it, so it will create a thing uh, which will be uh, used like this uh, which will look like this so we have uh, old file name and the new file name so you can just drag this and it will uh, take the all the reference from uh, uh, from uh, according to the row so here we use c2 so it will be c3 c4 c5 something like that so now we have the new file so we can just copy this and let's just paste it in a new document so it is is it it is okay uh, to look like this because uh, every entry is in a new line so that is how uh, our bulk uh, rename utility will going to uh, read our file so all we need to do is we need to save it so now i'm saving this uh, using this name so path will be the same so when we are going to uh, load it it will be like that and uh, before going to the bulk utility uh, do mind that that special characters are not allowed while renaming so if you have any columns or anything like that we need to remove it beforehand and i think uh, we don't have any right now but again uh, when you're going to load it uh, it will going to show it there as well as an error so we can just come back and do the changes so let's go to the bulk name utility now what you need to do is you need to go to the actions and go to import rename pairs and import rename pairs so here uh, because uh, i was already testing it so it is opening right here so you can see that is the same path so when you click on it and click on open it will get imported but uh, nothing will going to be shown here so as you can see it is not showing there so the idea is uh, you need to select it first and then it will going to match it with your pair 
so as you can see uh, these two files are already renamed so we don't need to do anything on that and uh, it will going to show the matching new file names here so 4 is 4 5 is 5 so I think uh, we are good to go but here you will see a red sign which means uh, that there is no uh, special symbols are allowed so when we click on the preview so it will uh, show that message that uh, these symbols are not allowed because uh, windows file name doesn't support that so let's just go back to the file and uh, see what problem we have so now we are back in the file and as you can see uh, there is a special symbol on the tan so if you can see here so it is showing uh, on the tan so one tan uh, there is this problem so what you need to do is you need to just delete this and click on save again and then uh, it will not going to uh, show like that but I think it is showing just fine but let's just uh, reload our uh, import file because it might not get into the uh, memory so let's just rename and import it again and now everything looks fine so as you can see it's a green sign and uh, I will just show this uh, here and let's just go to the list view and show now uh, there is no one ratio uh, I mean one cross 0 3 0 4, 4. so I have already uh, click on it let's just uh, click it again because we have loaded it again so when we click on preview it will show the actual thing will going to change so only uh, change will happen from 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so these files will become this so always remember to add extension because uh, if you don't do that so it will be like uh, renamed without the extension and you won't be able to play it so let's just click on rename and then it will ask that uh, if I have correct uh, that's the new file name you are attending to so are you sure you wants to rename it uh, I will say yes okay then eight items successfully processed so as you can see it is now changed to this now uh, you can scrap using a TV DM a uh, scrapper on Cordy and uh, it will uh, list all the information related to that episode so I hope uh, you get the idea that how you can do it and if you are wondering where you can get the file board so you can just uh, like type in the search bar google bar and uh, ask for file board 4.9.6 so it will allow you to scrap it but it will not going to uh, allow you to rename it so you can use this for scrapping and copy pasting the data and uh, then you can uh, use bulk name utility bulk rename utility and uh, you can just uh, follow the all the steps so uh, thanks for watching and let's meet in next video bye